Hey there, Sarah here. I recently got an ask from M911 on Tumblr and she asked how to manage to start one's day with positive energy as well as how to limit morning stiffness. So I went and did some reading and I found an article by Karen Pold on Everyday Health and the article is called Managing Morning Stiffness from Rheumatoid Arthritis. So this was, these were the suggestions from physical therapist Sandy B. Gans, I want to say is how you pronounce her name. Don't quote me on that. Um, these were her suggestions. To decrease stiffness, begin by stretching the stiff joint. Stretch each joint that is stiff two to three times, holding the stretch for 20 to 30 seconds. Her next suggestion was move slowly and do not force your movements. Fast jerky movements will make a tight, stiff joint feel worse, which is very true. Don't do that. It doesn't feel good. Um, move the joint just until you feel a stretch, and this should not cause pain. It's important not to overstretch your joints. What else was suggested in the article was heat therapy, either a heated blanket or a heat pack or a warm shower or bath that will help the mobility of your joints in the morning. Um, to answer your second question on positive energy, how to start your day with positive energy, my number one suggestion is focus on what you can do and what you're capable of that day. That is my biggest thing, is to be able to focus on what I can't, because so often we're either told or shown or tell ourselves what we can't do, but that will only set your day in a negative tone, which we don't want to do, because you are still capable of so much. Um, I also went to other spoonies for advice on how to stay body positive, which will also help with positive energy. And from the blog Adventures of a Loopy Lady, she suggests that what helps her feel better um, about herself is when she does her hair or nails and when her skin is smooth. She also suggests to have a clean environment. It helps her feel better about herself. I know having no clutter definitely helps me feel better. It's one less thing I have to stress about. Um, also, the blog Fibro... Fibro battling, I'm sorry for mispronouncing that, said that she felt more body positive after giving away her floor length mirror, which I can totally understand because <laughs> I had to do that. Um, it definitely does change not constantly having a mirror there because for some reason it doesn't help. I don't know why. Um, but she said that she's also changed what she defines as body positive. She suggests trying to find little, perhaps odd inches of your body that you like, such as cool constellations of moles or like her webbed toes. I love that. Um, she suggests to think about your body as a testament to what you've been through, which is very true because I know all of us, have, our bodies have been through a lot, but we continue to push forward, which is really important to remember that you are still pushing forward and trying each day, which is huge because I know your body is like, no, not today. And for you to still get up and say, yes, I'm going to try, I'm going to push past this morning stiffness and today's going to be a good day. That's a big deal. I'm proud of you. Seriously, I am. Um, I realize how tough that is. And the last thing that she said was, I still love my body because disease has not defeated it. My joints still move a bit creakily. My tongue can still taste. My heart still beats. I'm still alive. It's very important to focus on the positives, even though it may seem kind of silly for some of the things. Like, oh, yeah, I walked down the stairs today. No, you walked down the stairs today. That's awesome. That's amazing. You didn't need to use the elevator today. That's wonderful. Congratulations. That's a huge step. Take pride in the little accomplishments in life because those are big. And that will definitely help your positive energy. Um, if anyone has any more suggestions for either morning stiffness or positive energy in ways that help them, please feel free to comment or to send an email or message and I will definitely share it. Um, 
yeah, I really hope this helps. If not, please don't hesitate to ask for clarification or ask a different question. I'm more than happy to answer them. I will provide my sources below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a good week. Bye.